Hi guys. So I have not been able to get on here and fully disclose and even explain for those of you who are unfamiliar with the chakra system exactly what chakra sessions consist of or what they are. First and foremost, I would like to say that the chakra sessions are geared necessarily towards being able to assist you and help you to connect your mind, body, and soul to your physical purpose. With the chakra system, guys, we have seven main chakras that are within us. When I say seven main chakras, I mean seven main energies that we carry within us, okay? Within these energies, we are able to have them balanced, way overly opened, off-tracked, imbalanced, or closed, okay? So necessarily, in order for you to be a complete healthy human being on this physical realm of earth, you want to have all of your chakra energies balanced, all right? So that is the goal, that is the key. So within the sessions, we teach you about each individual chakra. Now, my courses start at eight weeks, all right? So you would have to participate in an eight week session necessarily because on the first week, I would give you a brief introduction and allow you to open yourself up, allow you to feel comfortable enough to continue your sessions with me, all right? The following weeks after that, the next seven weeks, we are strictly focusing on each chakra, which each chakra having its own individual week. Now, within these sessions, guys, because they are amazing, and I must say, you leave feeling a new sense of peace. You leave feeling a new sense of connection to your higher self, all right? Um... I just love to see the faces on people when they come versus when they leave after a session. Sessions are about an hour and a half, long to two hours. But nevertheless, guys, um, I would like to say the sessions include meditation and necessarily, particularly with Aya, she's a queen, we like to use guided meditation, all right? And so with that, I use guided meditation in order to instill repeated affirmations within your mind. Meditation allows you to consciously become aware of your subconscious mind, allowing you to control your reactions and how your body responds to the physical world, all right? Meditation allows you to tap into your inner self in order to lead you to your highest self. It allows you to recognize those things that you do not love about yourself versus those things that you love about yourself, giving you the time, the knowledge, the answers, in order to enhance those things that you love and balance out those things that you do not love about yourself. It also allows you to accept yourself. Within meditation, the reason that I love it so much because it is scientifically proven to also have actual beneficial properties on healing the actual physical body, all right? And when I say that, guys, I mean, during meditation, you are able to decrease anxiety, decrease depression, and assist with both anxiety and depression. If any of you are familiar with my work, then you know and you understand that I am big on normalizing what mental health is, which is actually how you react to the experiences that you have necessarily already encountered in your life and that you are continuously encountering as you move forward with growing in your life, all right? So meditation allows you to adapt to any circumstances that are going on in your life. 
and it allows you to be able to think before reacting to anything which rationalizes what you were doing necessary all right and so i say that about meditation that it helps with anxiety and depression because again these are things that have been proven in a clinical setting so meditation and guided meditation necessarily is one of the things that we do within the chakra sessions all right another thing that we do we sound bathe sound bathing if you are familiar with singing bowls some of you may have been offended some of you may have thought witchcraft some of you may have thought i was staring up a potion okay to put a curse on you because you know you was doing wrong but nevertheless no i am not god for you will face your maker and that's none of my business all right i am just strictly here to promote my gifts to the world so that I can follow in the footsteps that the divine wanted me to necessarily follow in, all right? So singing bowls are also known as sound bowls. We take these and we utilize them to sound bathe, all right? So sound bathing necessarily is an addition to the meditation that we do within the chakra sessions, right? With the sound bathing, certain tunes will attribute to whatever chakra that we are focusing on, whether we are focusing on your base, your root chakra, whether we are focusing on your sacral, solar, heart, throat, whatever, and so on and so forth, the sound will necessarily cater to, to that particular chakra, that particular energy that is within you in order to open and balance that energy out, how you necessarily need to balance that energy out, all right? And let me just give you an example of energy because as I'm speaking, I'm like questioning like if someone doesn't know what a chakra is or what the energy is, you would be thrown off. So for an example, with your root chakra, that is the energy of stability. That is the energy of grounding yourself. That is the energy of becoming more organized. That is the energy of understanding the difference between the physical realm and your spiritual realm that is within you. Um, the God that is within you. Christ that is within you. That is exactly what the root chakra is. And as we go on so forth, um, you will start to understand that each chakra has some type of energy that helps you do something. So again, root chakra, grounding yourself, being stability in finances, in relationships, whatever there is. Bringing that stability to your life is the energy that is held within the root chakra, right? All right, so back to explaining sound bathing for each chakra. Each sound bath um, will actually resonate with the chakra that we are working on that particular week. Sound bathing have all, has also been clinically and scientifically proven to have healing properties within them. Um, we utilize our senses, the things that God himself has given us, something that man cannot give to us. Maybe man can enhance, but man cannot give to us, okay? And so our senses, the way we see here, the way we smell, the way we touch, all of those things are the things that God has given to us. So when we sound bathe, we are utilizing our sense of hearing, okay? Our sense of sound, which also God created, right? And with this sound, when you take your time, and I teach you this within the session, to actually listen and let the vibrations of the sound bath go through your body and resonate through your soul, move through your soul and resonate with where you are in your life, all right? Chemicals within your brain will start to be released. These endorphins and these chemicals that are being released in your brain are also connected to your physical body, sending messages to your physical body to actually react to the sound. Most of these sounds have no upbeat tune. They have no hip hop bounce. They are very smooth sailing, very, you know, peaceful, very. And so what that does is that releases endorphins and chemicals within your brain that calms the body. And so let me get more specific, okay? In the brain, we have the frontal cortex 
left, front, back, cortex, um, we have something called the amygdala. I pronounce it that way. If indeed you pronounce it different, you know what I'm talking about, all right? So the amygdala controls the emotion, all right? Emotion is the part of us that allows us to react in whatever ways that we react to whatever situation that we are in, okay? Now, with cell bathing, it releases endorphins and chemicals within your mind and in your brain to your amygdala, which is your emotions, that releases to your body healing properties that calm your body down. This again helps with anxiety. This again helps with depression. This again helps with balancing out the reactive cells that are in your body necessarily, all right? The white blood cells and the red blood cells that are in your body start to become a little more aligned. There are scientifically proven studies that have had cancer patients who have been hooked up to listening to meditation and sound bathing versus cancer patients who were on normal and regular treatment without these healing properties that God himself has blessed us with. The patients that were listening to sound bathing properties and meditation properties were shown to have faster and more quicker healing results in cells that went back to normalizing themselves versus the cancer patients who did not participate in the study of sound bathing being on their ears, meditation being something that they go through. Meditation has been tested and proven in one of the toughest jails in the United States of America, which is in Alabama. This is something that is amazing to me in itself because these are men, this was a male prison, that were generally the most dangerous men that you would ever encounter or know. The most careless, ruthless men. Some of them had life and had no reason to be remorseful, to have a soul of peace and to show any type of compassion or empathy to anybody. But this meditation allowed them to look within themselves to understand what it was that was really triggering them to behave in the manner that they were behaving in, all right? Guys, meditation was allowing them to tap into their deepest selves, their deepest and scariest thoughts. It was allowing them to tap into their deepest situations and confront them. A fear that we most all have, but we all are not aware of. We're not aware that we're fe we, we fear to confront situations that were painful to us, situations that we are ashamed of, that we regret. We fear to face them. We fear to face the truth. But the truth, cliche, will set you free. The truth is that power is within you. The truth is that God gave you everything that you already needed. All right? And so chakra sessions is an assistance to helping you learn and understand that. Another thing that we do in the chakra sessions, if it is an individual session, we will necessarily individualize your experience as well as your energy. God has blessed me with the gift to understand how to pick up and read energy, how to channel energy, how to channel my own inner energy, how to speak and express the things that I need to speak, express, and teach to others who need to hear them. And so my goal is to let everyone else who is ready and who is willing and who is called by your spirit to understand that God has also blessed you with a divine purpose and with the divine ability 
to control and balance your energies in order to make it to your ultimate purpose, in order to live the best life that your heart necessarily desires. In order for you to live the divine life that is right for you, nine times out of 10, what your heart desires align with your divine life. You do not have to beg. You do not have to plead. You do not have to harass. You do not have to overstress or overworry any situation. You do not have to overwork, force, or push any type of entrepreneurship or anything to have what is divine for you. Chakra sessions allow you to learn this, allow you to understand this without being judged from where you are in your life, um, without you even having to open your mouth about what is going on with you and your circumstances and in your life. You are strictly coming to release. You are strictly learning to self-heal. You are strictly learning to self-love. You are strictly learning your highest self. You are strictly learning how to become the ultimate best you, all right? So chakra sessions are bomb. Like, I'm not even going to hold you. One of the other things that are optional in the chakra sessions are also tarot readings. Like I did say before, I do have instilled in me the ability and the gift to balance my energy, to pick up on other people's energy, and also to channel energy. Everyone, again, will not be fond of how I go about self-healing, self-teaching, and reaching the highest self. They won't be. Everybody won't be fond of meditation. Everybody won't be fond of sound healing and sound bowls. But that is necessarily meaning that that is not for you. It's just not for you. This is not your route to find your highest purpose. So if indeed you are attracted to these things, if indeed, then that may be your route on your path to find your highest purpose, all right? God is very intentional. I don't question the way that he allowed things to come in or spirit allows things to come in because God can be he or she, all right? So necessarily, when it comes to chakra sessions in general, my ultimate purpose is never to force anything on anyone. It is always for you to see things for what they are, for you to understand yourself for who you are. And so like I was saying, at the end of the chakra session, it is optional for you to have a tarot reading. Again, everybody is not fond of that type of energy. So if indeed that is not something that you would like to do, then necessarily don't do it. All right? Now, for me, tarot readings are picking up on energy that is around you. If you all have been following me, watching me, you have heard me say before, energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be transferred. Something that we have learned in early age, middle school, but not necessarily took the time to understand, right? I don't want to talk too much because you know I can, okay? So, nevertheless, energy with it having the ability to be transferred but not destroyed when you're doing tarot readings you have an energy around you you have an aura around you you have other people's energy that you may have necessarily picked up on you have outside energies that may necessarily be attracted to your energy or focusing on your energy or putting you in their energy necessarily so with tarot readings when i balance out my energy when i utilize the gifts that god had gave given to me i am able to read the energy that is around you i am able to clarify your circumstances in order for you to understand what is best let me tell you something i work for god i work for the creator I follow the almighty, regardless of how anybody may look at it. 
how anybody may view these things. Everybody necessarily indulges in things that they might be questionable about. But one thing that I do not question is what God wants me to do with his people. When God say move, I am moves. Okay? And so again, I'm not here to force anything on anybody or to let anybody take my words and believe them without studying. It's solely up to you to research anything that I have said today on this camera. It is solely up to you to try any of these things that I have said on my camera. But what I can say, guys, chakra sessions, sessions have been amazing. And I have people who do the sessions for the eight week course, and then they wanna come back and redo the eight week course. And I wanna tell you why, because growth takes time. And growth necessarily is everlasting because you may grow. And you may grow in a position that you wanted to grow in. But you may still have more growth as you grow and as you learn that you didn't even know that you needed. All right? And so chakra sessions do that. They do that for you. So they keep you coming back. They keep you wanting to practice at home. They keep you wanting to come and talk to me who God sent God sends messages through his people. He sends messages through his music. He sends messages through his art for us to pick up on with the senses that he has blessed us with, our eyes, our taste, our touch, our ears, our soul, divinity. All right. So again, I don't want to talk you guys to death, but I did want to explain the benefits of chakra sessions, the benefits of the meditation, sound bathing, and the tarot reading that is included within the chakra sessions, guys. Um, I will be on here discussing furthermore chakra lessons. Um, I'm going to be posting, reposting, guys. So do not look at these videos and be like, oh, this was today. No, I'm going to re be reposting some of the videos that I have already posted about the way speeds that... Um, necessarily resonate with each chakra okay so i'm going to go through a whole course of that again so it may be um another eight weeks on instagram or social media in general just pushing um the actual message that the power is within us that it is within you that if you are lost you don't have to be you don't have to be all right because god sent his soldiers and they are at work all right um Lastly, I do want to say that today is January the 27th. Um, the past two months have been very hectic, very busy for me, but I've also been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of um, inner work. I've been touching on things that I want to work on and enhance necessarily in my life. And so for the month of February, guys, for the love of February, guys, for the feel good of February, um, I will be posting um, my journey on the things that I want to do better with my life. Um, each day, hopefully, I can post something. If it is not on my page, it will be in my story. Do understand that I am human being. And so there will be days that I might not be able to attend to social media because I do have a real life world. When I pitch myself, I'm here, all right? So I do have to attend also to real life world. Um, so I will be posting that. So guys, if you want to follow along, please feel free to follow along. Get your notebooks out, take tips on whatever you need to take tips on. Um, if you want to reach out to me, if you want to schedule chakra sessions, if indeed you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out. I am a very open person. I'm a very understanding person. Um, it's not much that you can um, do that is going to hurt me or necessarily offend me. And even if you do offend me, I'm going to check myself and I'm going to understand that it may be something necessarily that you're going through or that you may not understand. And so your intentions are not to offend me. Even if your intentions are to offend me, it's not nothing that I care about. It's actually um, something that you have to deal with. So necessarily, guys, again, I'm going to stop talking. Um, chakra sessions are available. I will be explaining and expressing more about the energies that are within the chakra sessions the information that we discuss i love you guys so 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 much thank you to everybody who supports who understands and um 
who really just um, wants to see the growth within me and within themselves in general. Because a growing me is a powerful me. It allows me to be the powerful woman that I need to be for you. For everybody that God is going to send in my path and in my light and in my life. So again, love you guys. I'll be back soon. Bye.